All right, people, look at the top for me. So, Brandarin and NCAA EA was supposed to uh, be in contact with each other from 2021 to 2022. Remember, 2021 in February was the time when they announced that they were going to come out with a new game. But what happened was something went down, and last month, they ended up saying, hey, we're actually going to brand with one team sports or team one sports to help us actually get through this motion. Now, let me explain this even further. Now, listen to this. This is really important. Brandar is the reason why you can get current players in college names in the backs on their jerseys. This is the reason. Brandar. And if you could see up top, this, this is who they're associated with, including Ohio State, one of the biggest football programs in college football. So understand when EA pushed away them and they went through Team One and said, yo, we're going to try to make this happen. This now turns into a, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said y'all were going to work with us, huh? Now, you remember when the athletes were saying, oh, some of them was like, no, $500 is far below. Well, that wasn't necessarily because the athletes felt that way. It's because Brandar felt that way in, a, in an addition to another group, I think. I forgot what it was called. But you remember when there was dudes like, oh, that's far too low. Well, that's because the branding companies said that. More times than not, the athletes are like, oh, I'll, I'll go in for free or I'll take the 500. Shoot, I don't care. The problem is the branding groups are saying now, no, that actually is too low. And EA, you're trying to lowball us right now, which now causes the lawsuit to happen because Brandar is like, no, you're shorting out these players and you're lowballing us because we were it was supposed to go through us. Now, for all my people that want the NCAA football game, just like me, listen to me. Listen real close. EA is going to have to pay a big amount. Now, the judge can throw away the lawsuit as long as, well, one team probably gets an agreement and they get to do whatever. But EA is going to have to pay those players a lot. And it might possibly end up delaying the game or since they haven't paid anybody yet they could definitely upcharge that that price on being like all right well this is your worth boom here you go but it's going to cost ea a lot in my personal opinion ea pay those players just pay them you you spent a lot on a bunch of crazy madden games that were subpar no disrespect you might as well give those players what you got and start that new college football game effective immediately. And one thing I will add real quick, and, and I might as well just go ahead and say it, EA does make a lot of money off Madden. And they make a large amount of money off Madden. For them not to be doing too much with that game, make a lot. So, just, just pay them a larger amount. Honestly, the EA Sports, the NCAA college football game is going to add more revenue to the football games for, you know, Madden and NCAA for EA Sports. Honestly, I just say just pay them the amount they're looking for. Just pay them the amount. Keep the production going so you can get that out by that time. Because honestly, everybody just wants the game and athletes might just want the game too. But it's such a bigger deal when it comes to the universities because old people always control everything. And unfortunately, some cases they're in the right. And this is one of those cases.